So here we are, fine Michigan winter day, about 25 degrees out. We're going to take the SEMA for a quick test flight. So one of the things I want to do is kind of show everybody how to set it up. So, uh, But before I do that, the one thing I want to mention is I've got the uh, 3D printed prop guards, the action camera, action camera mount, and the updated hoverboard installed in this unit. So I've got the power on, and so I'm going to bind the unit, and I've bound the unit. Now what I'm going to do is move these down here so um, we lock in the uh, headless mode and then we're going to go and maybe you can see the quad flashing. So now I've locked in headless mode and the quad flashing so let's now try to take it for a flight. One of the things, the cold does seem to affect the barometric pressure sensors a little bit, hover sensors uh, in the unit, so I've noticed that versus uh, when it's warmer out. Although once it seems to stabilize, it's pretty good. So I've got a fully charged battery in it. Uh, you can see it's having a little bit of a hard time. Okay, I'm going to try adjusting things up a little bit. It uh, flew off screen. So what I'm going to do is launch it again. I'm having a hard time uh, keeping altitude. weighted down pretty heavy with that action cam. That action cam has a lot of weight on there. These cold temperatures definitely seem to be causing it issues. I'm having to keep applying throttle to it. To keep the hover stable. Okay, so we're going to try another go. I'm going to I'm going to release it and uh, rebind it, and then uh, go back into. So we're syncing for headless mode. It's synced. Uh, yep, it syncs for headless mode. We sync the gyros, and then I'm going to spin it up, and I put it into headless mode. And then we're going to try it uh, in headless mode. I'm just trying to maintain a basic hover. It's kind of hard to do. Like I say, it's about 25 degrees out. I have a fully charged 250 uh, milliamp battery in there. And you can see, uh, I, don't know, I thought the warning lights were coming on. Yeah, it seems the warning lights are coming on. So I'm going to bring it back in for landing. Well, we can definitely tell the um, prop guards work. Okay, so I want to show a couple different things here. What uh, 25 degree weather will do. So 
This last crash we broke the PLA mounting here on the camera on the GoPro. In fact, I think I can turn that off. And then you notice, which I'm really surprised here, but I'm sure it's um, the 25 degrees. So this last crash uh, broke two of the uh, prop protectors that I had printed out of hips. So you can see the brake right here and the brake right here. Uh, so uh, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought the, the hips would handle a little bit more. In warmer weather, it probably would have. But um, again, it's 25 degrees out here in Michigan. And uh, it took a bit of its toll, but the rest of it seems to be okay. And I think the little bit of the hovering challenge has to do with the cold temperature. So uh, anyways, uh, kind of a little bit of cold flying weather and a modified SEMA X8. So if you found this interesting, hey, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe over there if you're not a subscriber to keep updated. And I'll do some more of this cold weather flying to um, let you see what it's like. Because, hey, I'm in Michigan and it's going to be probably another four months before it warms up. So, cheers and see you in the next video.